Well, ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. This is my basic New Year's workout, the very first one. Oh, this isn't Twitch. Hey, but it's YouTube. Please subscribe, I love you all. All right, let's get this thing rolling. Hey, it's me. Hi. I mean, it's you. It won't. Yeah, it's either way. Let's go. All right, let's start this thing off with some stretching. First things first, we're going to do a neck stretch. So you want to grab the side of your head with your arm and use your arm as an anchor. Just slowly pull directly to the side and kind of let it hang there. A couple tips with stretching. You never want to spring and you never want to pull too hard. So the key here is just a nice stretch into the motion and then let go. And then we're going to switch sides. And feel it on the other side. You want to do at least 20 to 30 seconds, otherwise you're not really accomplishing anything with your stretch. But then you can let that bad boy out again. Oh yeah, feel that in the neck. All right, let's move on. The back of the neck. Now you want to pull forward just a bit, remembering to tuck your chin into your chest. Otherwise you're just pulling your head down. We're trying to stretch the back of the neck here. Beautiful. I like to shake it out a little bit on the top there. All right. Now the neck's feeling a little open. Let's go straight back. What I like to do is keep my teeth clenched just lightly and pull straight back with my arms behind my back for balance. And we're just stretching the front of the neck here. A lot of people with very sedentary lives don't really uh, get a lot of neck function going. So you can end up pretty, uh, pretty out of shape there, like me. All right, let's bring our arm across. We're gonna be grabbing our shoulder right here and just sort of pulling her straight. Basically, we're stretching the back, the very top there. So the uh, rear delts and the upper back, getting a nice, lovely stretch. Beautiful, let's switch sides. I like to move my neck around here while I'm doing the stretch as well. Loosen it up a little further from the shoulder blades. Feeling any strain or pain, stop immediately and relax. You want to take it easy, you want this to be fun. Especially your first workout back, you don't want to hurt yourself. All right. Now, if I had something to grab onto, I'd be stretching the front pecs by pressing my arm against something and just sort of rotating. But I moved on instead, we're going to stretch the forearms. Here, what you want to do is kind of the prey maneuver. You just sort of put your palms together and press. You want to lower your wrists while raising your elbows. We're just stretching the bottom of the forearm here. Now we're going to stretch the top of the forearm by just switching the wrist to the other side. I like to straighten my arm and press just lightly and twist. Let's see if we can see that, uh, you know, maybe from another angle here in a sec. Yeah, another angle. I'm looking right at you. You're looking at me with that funny face. Come on, let's see from the side. There it is. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Beautiful. Now don't break your own wrist, obviously. All right, let's do the tricep stretch. You're just gonna grab right behind the back. This is for people with good mobility, good stretching already. Uh, this is one that I haven't lost over the years of, uh, or at least over the last year of stress eating. <laughs> if you can't do this one though, don't worry about it. There's an easier one that you can do where you basically just uh, press against a doorway with your elbow. So just put your elbow against the doorway and press. 
and that'll do the same stretch. But I prefer to grab behind the back. It's the easiest way. Stretching your uh, front delt on the opposite arm at the same time. Beautiful. We love the two for one action. All right, let's get some arm circles going. We're gonna warm up those shoulders. See if you can make them big and wide. We are gonna be switching directions and making them smaller and bigger. Whatever you can do to uh, warm these bad boys up because we're gonna be throwing some punches. Beautiful. All right, the same thing, but with the elbow joints now. Make sure not to smack yourself in the face there. <laughs> All right, what's next? Let's do some wrist warm up. I saw this in a UFC video once, and I just like to do it every time I'm about to do anything that uses my wrists. You just put your hands together and give them a quick rotate for a while. It kind of warms up the wrist joints. Good enough. All right, here we go. We're going to start finding some balance. Balance is the key. Anyways, we're stretching the front quads here. And so if you have something you can push against, that's easy mode. If you can just balance, that's cool too. But you do risk injury if you don't have something to press against, if you do fall over. <laughs> so grab your cat, your dog, your mom, your dad, a wall, whatever you got. Make sure to do the other side. Whoa, whoa, shaky Peter's there. Oh no. The universe as we know it. Don't do it. Nope. Yeah, you got this. All right, stretch complete. You're awesome. But now there's some bad news. Yeah. It's the old man stretch time. Time to bend over. So put your arms straight up at your side, straight out in front of you, and then come all the way down. As you can see here, I can't even touch my toes currently. A lot of winter eating and not a lot of doing anything else has left me kind of uh, without that hamstring stretchability. Anyway, we'll get there. One day at a time. Now we're stretching the glutes here just a little bit, just raising a knee one at a time. Again, it would be helpful if you have balance. Other side. Now there's plenty of other stretches that we can do. We could have stretched the calves. We could uh, do all kinds of different things as well with the back, but hips as well but in this particular case we're just going to warm up our hip joints by doing some hula hoops some circles we're going to warm up our knees and ankles as well but we're just going to pretend like we're hula hooping just warm up those joints a touch and then we should be ready to start our warm-up thanks for joining me so far ladies and gentlemen i hope this stretch is feeling good for you i know the neck one felt amazing for me all right, ladies and gentlemen, get your water, get your towel, make sure you have everything you need before you start, like some loose fitting clothes so you can throw your arms around. And uh, if you're doing a green screen thing, don't put things on the green screen. <laughs> That's right. All right, let's get things rolling with a warm up. Let's start with a little running on the spot. We're just gonna raise that heart rate just a little bit. Shake your arms out as much as you can. Uh, loosen up as much as you can. We're gonna get those knees up out in front. We're gonna get those legs up out in the back. 
Trying to move those muscles around. Oh, no, we broke reality again. My bad. All right, let's pretend to uh, jump rope for a little bit. Just whatever we can do to get that heart rate going. I'm getting ready for some punches, some kicks, some blocks, some moving. Shake it out, move it out. Let's get this warm up done. Out front again, and then out behind one more time. If you want to do jumping jacks, go to town. Otherwise, let's get rolling. First off, we have high block. So we're going to be taking a horse stance. As you can see, my legs are much wider than they should be. And you're going to go low. You want to go a lot lower than I am, but I'm just starting out. First workout of the year. Out of shape for a long time. You want to push each arm up high like you're blocking a high attack. Somebody's coming in for a punch and you're blocking it. Block. 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 Beautiful. All right. We're going to move in and add a horse stance. Let's get back in it. Inward block. Somebody's coming in for a punch and we're hitting it to the side. To the side, to the side. If this were advanced martial arts, we would also be doing checking and grabbing, but we're just doing basic blocks right now. This is the very first episode, the very first workout. We're getting back into things. You're doing great so far, everybody. Just a few more. Yeah. Outside block, same thing. Somebody's coming in for a big punch or a haymaker or something like that, and you're just hitting her to the outside over and over again. Add a little spin if you like. It makes you feel better while you're doing martial arts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hope you guys are enjoying this so far. You got this. Just a couple more. There was three. A low block. All right, somebody's coming in with a kick or a punch or something. It's a little low. You're hitting it off to the side. You're deflecting it. Almost like a hammer fist. Remember to keep those hands up, though. That's kind of a big deal. A lot of the time I let my hands drop. So we're trying to keep it looking cool. <laughs> Look at me go. Get that spin in there. Yeah. Move those arms. You got this, people. All right, let's move on. No? A couple more? Yeah. Okay, basic pivoting right now. We're just going to move side to side, side to side. So we're warming up our ankles. We're warming up our hips. We're getting those obliques going. We're getting that sort of core section warmed up. We're going to get ready to throw some punches and kicks. Stick with it, people. If you can go even faster without ruining where your feet are, then I would suggest doing that. The more you can whip yourself left and right, but maintain your posture and where your feet positions are, the more you're going to feel that warmed up in the middle. Just keep on moving side to side. You got this, people. This is the best part to get warmed up on, let me tell you. All right, just a few more seconds. Here we go. Well, let's get rolling. The jab. Finally, we get to punch something. Just keep throwing it out there. Don't lock out your elbow or snap it too hard and hurt your elbow. But you just want to get it out there. All right, let's get some doubles. Just two quick ones on the same side. All right, let's switch sides. Got to keep it even. Get that jab out there. It might feel funny the first few times on the left side. Or if you're left-handed, the right side. Let's get those doubles. You got this. 
Couple more. There we go. Now we're going to do the jab cross. A little left-right action. A left-right. A left-right. Let's switch sides. Keeping her even. Jab cross. Jab cross. Right, left. Right, left. Or if you're the other way around. <laughs> Thanks for sticking with it so far, guys. It's gonna get good soon. Keep breathing. All right, let's move into the hook uppercut. Closest arm in, we're doing the hook. Arm far away, we're doing the uppercut. Now, if you do this too fast, like I'm doing right now, it starts to look a little sloppy. You're getting a workout still, but are you actually winning a fight? Probably not. <laughs> so practice your form and then speed it up. Hook, uppercut, hook, uppercut. That's right, right, left, right, left, hook, uppercut. Keep on pushing people. Keep it even, do the same number on both sides. If you want to do 10 on each, if you want to do 20 on each, whatever you are at, at any point you can stop the tape and do some more. Jab, cross, elbow. I like elbow. So we're doing the jab, the cross, the elbow. Jab, cross, elbow. Left, right, left. You got this. Again, keep breathing. Stop and drink some water if you need to. Stop the tape and play extra long if you want to do it again and again and again. Just keep rewinding. Other side, a jab, cross, elbow, elbow. <laughs> Stick with it, guys. We're starting to get that heart rate up. A few more, yeah. All right, it's break time. Remember your water, towel off if you need to. This is the time where you gotta breathe, maybe just take a little bit of a, a breather, a break, a uh, heart rate slow down. Remember to subscribe though, of course, now that you're free. Thank you so much. <laughs> if you are finding benefit though, please do subscribe. I'm trying to push to actually monetize the channel. Thank you so much. Jab cross, jab uppercut. Yeah, I like the uppercut. Jab cross, jab uppercut. Left, right. Left, right. Same thing here. Try and maintain your form. If you go a little too fast, you start to look funny. Maybe you're uppercutting the moon. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see sort of some sloppy action here in a sec. Ooh, look at me go. Yeah. Get excited about it. Imagine your opponent right in front of you. You are the winner. All right, let's switch sides. Stay peppy, stay moving, stay light on your feet. Keep those hands up. Left, right, left, uppercut. Jab, cross, jab, uppercut. Remember that loose fitting clothing. Don't let it stop you. Remember that form. If it looks good slow and you get it right, it'll look good fast. But the key at this point is basic instruction, basic workout. We're getting into it for the first time again. It may be Blue Monday here today, but it doesn't have to be for you. You can watch this tape over and over again and get in shape. Jab cross while single step forward is happening. So you want to step and jab and then cross. So step, jab, cross. Step, jab, cross. Let's get some two fists in there. Keep those twin fists going. Yeah. Good job, everybody. Let's switch sides. Step, jab, cross. So you're stepping and jabbing basically at the same time. You're moving forward with the jab and then you're following up with the cross. It'll start to come naturally the more you do it, of course, but 
the gist of it is that you're moving forward, forward momentum. Get that cross in there. Now let's twin fist again. Yeah. Double. Double. You got this. Just a couple more. Boom. The jab cross switch. All right, we're going to jab, we're going to cross, and then we're going to jump. Jab, cross, jump. So we're getting that switch sides in there every single time. And this one's going to start to get that heart rate going. Stop with your water anytime you want. If you start to feel lightheaded or sick of any kind, you know, just stop. Take a breather. Hook, uppercut, switch sides. You got this, keep switching. Hook, uppercut, switch. Hook, uppercut, switch. Just keep on pushing forward. You got this. We're gonna grab, we're gonna knee. Grab a knee, grab a knee. This one's honestly my favorite. Grab knee, just grab the shirt. Pull down, knee up. Imaginary, of course. Don't actually hurt people. Ha ha. Get that self-defense workout going, people. Get as many knees as you can. Speed it up if you can, as long as you don't lose your form. Switch sides. Here we go. Grab a knee. Imagine that opponent, so that you're not sort of, you know, kneeing Toledo. You want to knee the person right in front of you. Doing good. Grab a knee. Beautiful. Moving on, ladies and gentlemen, it's the front kick. This one's fairly self-explanatory. You're going to use your uh, stance, your regular stance, and you're going to use your farthest away leg kick forward. Keep your hands up as much as you can. Sort of simulate blocking. Just keep pivoting and kicking forward. Looking good. Halfway. Let's switch. Farthest leg away. Again, imagine your opponent so that you're kicking in somewhat the right direction. Just a few more. It was pretty awkward on this side. Let me let me be honest. <laughs> All right, we're looking good. And next up, side kick. So in this one, you're going to take a step forward and then kick and then step back again. Let's show it from the side. So you're going to take your regular stance. You're going to take a step forward, kick, down, and then back. Step, kick, down, reset. Step, kick, down, reset. Looking good? All right, let's give it a try. We're stepping, we're kicking, we're resetting. Step, kick, reset. Looking good. Just basic side kicks here. Try and keep your arms up still. Simulating blocking, that's the halfway. We're almost there. Let's switch sides. Again, keep those hands up. It might be really awkward on the left side, as you can see for me right here. I'm like, holy cow, am I kicking someone in the next room? Am I kicking someone in front of me? Am I twisting and pivoting? Am I going to Mexico? Dang, I want a taco. Okay, let's do this. Moving on. Yeah. This is another break. Remember your water. Remember your towel. Remember to, if you want to, go ahead and hit that uh, subscribe button. You know, if you want to. It's totally cool if you don't. It's just it would really help the channel. And I'm asking you, please. Ah, uh, rejuvenating water. All healed up and ready to go. Almost. Well, let's get that heart rate back up again. Here we go. A rear kick. So in this one, you actually want to turn around, look behind you, and then kick. 
turn around, look behind you, and then kick. Now with this one, the key thing is don't kick your monitor, don't kick your chair, don't kick your wall, don't kick anything except the air. So make sure you got plenty of room. You're gonna shift just a little bit with each kick, but look behind you, we're switching directions now. Look behind you and kick. Look at how bad that left was, whoa. Look behind and kick, behind and kick, behind and kick. My gosh, those love handles. Let's get rid of those. You got this, people. All right, what are we gonna do? Yeah, it was good enough. It's the first try. We can get better and better at it. I read a little bit of a breather here, and then we're gonna move into more back kicks. How about that? Round two, ladies and gentlemen, more back kicking right side. Look behind you and kick. Look behind you and kick. In all honesty, I needed a little extra here, so I think you might as well. If you don't, feel free to fast forward, but if you do, just keep hitting the same sections over and over again until you get them right, until you feel good about it. You can watch this tape as many times as you want. Look behind and kick. Look behind and kick. All right, all right. Round two is looking good. Let's see what else we can do, ladies and gentlemen. It's the cool down. So make sure and start running on the spot, but let's do it slower this time, hey? Let's just shake it out. If you're really sweaty, towel off. You can still get those legs up high, in front and behind. But the idea here is to slow it down. We're just trying to bring our heart rate down normal, especially if we've been kicking like no tomorrow. I'd like to thank you for taking part in today's video. Uh, this video specifically was made for a friend of mine named Chief, who's always asking me to work out with him, do some martial arts. And we used to do it by Discord, but we thought we'd give it a go on the YouTubes. I hope you try it again and again. We're going to keep doing them. We're going to keep making more, keep getting better. My name is Lal Darian, and thank you for being here. Ladies and gentlemen, you are amazing. I love you. Please come back. Little blooper. Front, side, rear, oh, kicked that wall pretty good right there. <laughs>